Typically, when you're doing a single page website, you want to have a really nice catchy head section. So this one is a little bit squashed. We've got some content here, and then we've got all of this content, the next section. So it's not really nicely spread out as you typically expect from a single page website. So you go to something like even with Bootstrap. So we've got this really nice head area over here, and then we've got some content and so on down below. So let's take more of that type of approach where we want to have this particular head area actually really stand out. So this we had given a class of H talk. So we're going to utilize that. So the first thing that I want to do is we actually want to work as if we're working from mobile first perspective. So that means that we're going to be using min width, the media query for min width, because we're going to be starting at any screen size that's the minimum width and above. And this is where we're going to be setting our class information. So for H top, we're going to set a minimum height to be 100%. So let's go back out here, refresh it, and now we'll take a look at this. And there's one other thing that we need to set. We need to also specify that we want to set our overall body. So going back into the main style area, and we are going to be updating this to a CSS file. So just for the purposes of the lesson, so I don't have to flip back and forth between files, I'm doing it within the page itself. But we are eventually going to take this and link out to a CSS file. So we want the body and we want the HTML to have a height of 100%. And we also want it to have a width of 100%. Because this is typical for single page websites where we're taking up all of the available real estate that's available to us within the web page. And we also need to make some adjustments here. So I want to have it actually on that top element here, so that H top. So I'm going to move that one over to there and I'm going to get rid of this part over here. So this is going to apply to that header element. So notice when we do that, then we get that full uh, feel of the full website effect for us. And so basically now we've got our full header area and we can maybe even add, go back and update and add in our image that we had removed before so that we can load that image in the background. And we'll take a look and we'll see what that looks like now. So when I refresh it, so now we've got a full image in the background, fully resizable. And of course, we're not sure because we're using lorem pixel. So we're not actually sure what images we're going to get. So as you can see, some of them will look better with the white text and other ones won't. Uh, maybe the solution to that is to add maybe a darker background or a kind of see-through background for that. So let's uh, open up our editor and add that in. Uh, so we've got our paragraph here for H top. We've got a paragraph. Uh, so maybe that first div, we can have uh, kind of a white type background to that. So let's add that in across all of them. So use H top and maybe we'll just call it to that first div there. And this is where we can use the background, the RGB background colors. So let's set that up. So background color. And we're going to set that up as RGB. So that's red, green, blue colors. And if we want to have a dark color, uh, then we go really low in the numbers. So let's just do uh, 0, 0, 0. And we'll do transparent here. So this is a fallback for some of the older browsers. And then also we're going to do background color. So just after that, make sure that we do it after. So we're going to do RGBA. So for those, these are for browsers that don't understand RGBA, that they'll just skip over this and they'll take the RGB color, which is just going to be that black transparent color. Uh, so now we'll set that up and maybe we can do uh, 0 0.6. So let's go back out and refresh this and take a look and see what we've got. So now it's a little bit more uh, evident what we've got here. And maybe even in here, we can set some padding here. So maybe 10 picks of padding. So we're not right up against the borders there. So this is uh, does stand out quite a bit better. And uh, so now we've got our full background and we're ready to go to add some additional styling to the next section. So that's coming up in the next lesson.